put your hands together if that's your prayer tonight. Good morning, praise the Lord. We are so grateful and thankful for you being with us at this worship service this morning. Amen. We are excited because God has blessed us as a church to be able to celebrate 25 years in ministry. Come on, let's put our hand together and give God some glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're excited about what God is doing. Amen. We are thankful for those of you who are worshiping with us in person as well as those who are online. We just know that we want to glorify and magnify the Lord for all that he has done and really we have great expectations on what he's going to do. So we're excited this morning, amen, and we are grateful. So we're going to ask if you would join with me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we just love you and adore you and honor you and God, we lift you up above measure. God, you are a God that just love us and just always meeting every need according to your riches and glory. God, we're grateful that you stopped the rain and allowed the sun to come out. Because God, we have been praying about this day, God, as we come together and as we begin to celebrate and exalt you for all the wonderful things that you have done. God, you are our strength. You are our redeemer. You are the good shepherd. You are the living water. You are the bread life. God, you are life in itself, and we give you glory. So, God, we ask that you would just take this service, God, and just continue to allow your spirit, God, to fill this place and magnify yourself in these earthen vessels, God. We're thankful, God, that we are your children, so, God, we ask for your blessing on not only those who are here worshiping with us in person, but, God, with those that are online. You are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God, our provider. You promise to meet every need according to your riches and glory. Let the meditation of our hearts and our thoughts be acceptable in your sight. God, glorify yourself in this service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put your hand together and say, Glory! Amen. Can we lift up holy hands and say glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Stand for the praise and worship team, please. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are here to praise the Lord this morning. To praise him for what he's done for 25 years. Hallelujah. That he's allowed ministry yes. to go forth through this body. Hallelujah. Yes. It is truly about God this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Any accomplishments. Hallelujah. Yes. 
that this body of Christ has been able to make and to realize is through Jesus Christ, yes, yes. our Lord and Savior. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. All right, we're going to go forth in praise. We're excited. Hallelujah. Join us in praising and worshiping the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
and honor to your name. Glory and honor to your name. We give you glory. Of our hearts to hear and pray. Good morning, Fresh Start friends and family. We are honored that you chose to join us in worship. These are today's announcements. Today, Sunday, October 31st, directly after service, we will be celebrating 25 years of ministry. We hope you brought friends, neighbors, and family members to celebrate with us, Fresh Start Church, and being in ministry for 25 years. To celebrate 25 years, Fresh Start Church is offering the following t-shirts for the listed donation prices. There's a limited supplies of shirts and sizes, so pick yours up as soon as possible. Donations can be given to Sister Gwen or Sister Carol. If you do not want a shirt, feel free to give a monetary donation. The wording on the white shirt is inviolate. 
Do y'all see that delicious turkey being based with wonderful flavor? Our goal at Fresh Start Church, which has been for over 20 years, is to ensure that families are able to enjoy holidays together and not have to worry about how they'll be able to provide food for the meal. We want families to enjoy each other and be able to fellowship with one another. We want to assist as many families as we can to have a nice, warm, base turkey full of flavor on their table for the holiday. To do this, we need you to submit names and family sizes to Sister Nicole Freeman by November 13th so families can have a Thanksgiving basket and be able to fellowship with family on Thanksgiving Day. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to Sister Nicole. Do not forget November 13th is the day that all names and sizes, family sizes, needs to be submitted to Sister Nicole. And as always, we are glad you're here at Fresh Start Church, a place of God's people caring for people. Good morning, everyone. It's offering time. If anyone needs a building or tithing envelope, please raise your hand and the ushers will take care of your needs. We have other options if online. You can go to freshstartchurch.org, click on give, or you can text Fresh Start to 73256. My scripture come from Matthew 6, 19, 21, and it goes, Do not store up yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Excuse me. My question to you is, where are you storing your treasures? Are you storing them in treasures or on earthly things, or, tr or treasures in heaven. I will pause for a minute to allow anyone to deposit their offerings in the white box at the entrance in the back. Just as a note, you can also deposit your tithes and offerings at the start of church. I'll pause now to give you a chance to make your deposit in the back, in the white box. Father, we want to thank you for uh, those that gave today. And we just thank you, Father, for those who couldn't give. And Father, we just ask that, it make it, that you make it possible for those that couldn't give but had the, des the, the desire to give on another occasion. And we just thank you, Father, for all you do and you continue to do for this congregation and this church. And we just thank you, Father, for showing us how to use these gifts to impact your kingdom. Amen. Amen. It's such a blessing to be here. Amen. We are thankful for those of you who are here with us uh, in person worship, as well as those who are with us online, amen, as we, uh, you know, God is good, amen? amen? You know, his grace and mercy has brought us through, amen? And really, we are thankful and appreciative for all that God has done, amen? You're only seeing a small sampling, amen, of the impact that God has made and God is making through this church, amen? Uh, we are so grateful and thankful for those who are for and near everything that we do. And it's all God focused. Amen. As it said, you know, we are God's people caring for people. We believe that we believe because God cared for us that really and he loved us that we ought to love people in spite of them. Amen. 
Because God, we were not perfect. Amen. We didn't always do things right. But God still loved us anyhow. Put your hand together and give him some glory. Come on. Come on. He's an anyhow right now God. He will love you right now. Amen. And so we're, we're, we're excited about that because we are God's people. Amen. We are celebrating God together and we are sharing him with others. Amen. Every time. You know, I share, especially around this time of year. Amen. I know how it feels to be hungry. Amen. I remember when the Red Cross and the people used to come to my house and bring food. We were some happy. It was 11 kids in a two-bedroom house. Come on. Amen. God, touch somebody and say, God will meet your needs according to his riches and glory. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Don't matter where you find yourself, trust him. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's just good to be here. We are thankful for those of you who are with us. Amen. And we just have another announcement we'd like to share with you that really we're going on a, a, a time of fasting and praying. Amen. Because we have some needs. Amen. And we believe we are a church that believe in miracles. Come on. Give me a wave off. Come on. Come on. God, in 2021, God still can do miracles. Amen. And we need some miracles. Amen. We need to see God move and we need to see God deliver. We need to see God enlarge himself in some things that are going on. Amen. So we're going to have a time of fasting and praying for 14 days starting November the 1st, which is tomorrow. Amen. We're going to be on a da uh, Daniel fast. Amen. And that Daniel fast says is only fr uh, fruits and vegetables. Amen. Bre beverage is water. Amen. Now, let me pause for just a moment. Those of you who are under the doctor's order, please continue to follow them. Amen. We're going to do that. So really what we have is a little handout, amen, that we will give you if you would like to join us in this fast. Because let me say it again. We believe in miracles. I believe that God is going to move and God is going to touch and he's going to do some miraculous things. The Bible said the things that are impossible with men are possible with who? God. Amen. I am standing here because of God's love, mercy, and grace, and he works miracles in my life. I believe that God has promised to be no respect of person. He said if we ask him, amen, he will do things that we will never, ever understand and how ought to believe. So we are grateful for that. So I want to share that with you. Amen. And uh, that's the one other announcement too. Amen. God has blessed us and God has blessed my family to have another baby. Amen. My niece uh, has called and asked the baby to be blessed. Come on, put your hand together and give God some glory. <laughs> Amen. And, and let me share. God loves all children. Amen. And it's a blessing, amen, when we have kids to come back and ask God's blessing on those babies. Amen. Uh-huh. Come on. Because they are a gift from God. But you know what we need to do, too? We need to bring them up, and we need to live right before them. Come on, put your hand together. Give God some glory again. Come on. We got we to gotta set an example for our kids. I don't care whether people like it or not. We got to teach them what's right. There is a right and a wrong. Amen. So we need to teach them and teach them how we love God. Share with them where God has brought you from and what God is still doing in your life. Touch, him, touch yourself and say, he's a right now God. He's still working in us. The will and the doing is good pleasure right now. Amen. So with that, amen, why don't you take your Bibles with me and let's just go to Psalms, the 63rd division. I'm just going to share a few words and we're going to celebrate. Amen. Tell somebody say, I love the Lord. I, oh, y'all were too loud, too quiet for me. I love the Lord. Amen. God took, God don't need a whole bunch of people. He only need a few that would trust him and love him. He took a few people and changed the world. Amen. What they call them, little disciples. Come on. Amen. So I just love him this morning. Amen. 63rd division of Psalms. Let me get my glasses for just a moment so I can see a little bit better. I'm getting a little older, amen? How many know that age is, is, a, gift, is a gift from God? Come on. 
Put your hand together, and health is a gift from God. Put your hand together and give it some glory. Amen. I can't see like I used to, but I'm still here. Amen. 63rd Division of the Psalm says, amen, I'm, and I'm going to be reading from the King James Version. We're going to ask if you would stand with us, and really that's in respect and honor to God. Amen. Respect and honor. Amen. And I love it. It just, it's, the word of God is energizing. Amen. When we read it, because it's not flesh and blood, the spirit man in us rises up. Because, you know, flesh speaks to flesh. Spirit speaks to what? Spirit. Amen. Everything that God says is spiritual. That's what he wants to speak to. All right. Psalm 63, verses, uh, starting at verse number one, King James Version. Listen to what God is saying to us this morning. Uh, oh, God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Verse 2, to see thy power as thy, and, and thy glory as I have seen thee where? In the sanctuary. Verse 3, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Amen. Touch yourself and say, praise thee, God. Touch yourself again. Praising Praise God. Come on, one more time. Praising Praise God. God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful and thankful. And God, we don't take life for granted. We don't take church for granted. God, we don't take you for granted. Father, we are so grateful and thankful for another opportunity to gather in your name and to worship you in spirit and in truth. God, we already bless you for your presence and the spirit that's already here. God, we just pray that, God, that you would just saturate this place. Oh, God, as only you can. Oh, God, enlarging yourself. That John the Baptist said, we want to decrease, that you may increase. You are the living water. You are the bread of life. And, God, we want to give you glory. Glorify yourself in these earthen vessels today. God, we are your children created in Christ Jesus for good work. Use us to glorify yourself today. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 25 years. Amen. And let me share with you, it hasn't always been easy. And let me tell you, it still won't be easy. Amen. But we believe in God. Amen. We believe what God called us to do, he will make a way for us to do it. Even if you have to part the Red Sea. Amen. Even if you have to keep us in the fiery furnace. Amen. God will make a way out of no way. God always fulfills what he says. Amen. Wanted to share that. So really, I, I am grateful to think, and I am humble too. Amen. For all the people who have invested in this ministry down through the years and who are still invested in the ministry. Touch somebody. Say, land is expensive. No, say, dirt is expensive in Johnson County. Come on. Touch it. Dirt is expensive in Johnson County. Amen. We out here. We out here because God put us out here. Because why? The people out here still need Jesus Christ. Amen. It's not a money thing. It's a spirit thing. Amen? And we need the right spirit. Amen? So really, you know, praising the Lord. Amen? And really, uh, just a little bit of background here. This is David, King David, who uh, wrote this psalm. Amen? And he was in the wilderness. Amen? And he, he wrote this psalm during a difficult time in his life. And really, the difficulty is that he was running for, for his life. And he was afraid that people were going to try to kill him or or really somebody was trying to hurt him, amen? And I don't know, sometimes people do evil or try to do evil toward us, amen? 
And what I love about this, I'm in the midst of the evil and the things that people were trying to do uh, to David, amen. And David's son, his own son, amen, Absalom, amen, wanted to kill his dad. Amen, sometimes we have some tough times with families. Come on, just raise it. Come on, you can, uh, in, in your own family, it's okay. But, but, but you know what? Whether they like you or not, you still got to love them. They still family, amen. And so David was, uh, you know, he was uh, having a difficult time, and really he was in the, uh, the, the wilderness, and his son Absalom was, uh, was rebelling against his dad. However, David didn't look back and regret at his mistakes he made as a father, nor did he look around in fear and complain at the discomfort and danger in the wilderness. Amen. Some of you are feeling some discomfort. Some of you are some places where you don't want to be. Amen. I want you to know that wherever you are, God knows where you are. Amen. And God told me to tell you that just hold on and be still. Amen. Just give him some time. Amen. And God will bring you through. He will. Amen. Because I, I tell you something, this won't last always. This won't last our way. These momentary what? Afflictions working in us what? A for greater work of glory if we allow God to have his way. That's why he said, cast all your cares upon me. Why? Because I care for you. Why? Because his yoke is easy. His burden is light. Amen. Loose yourself. That ain't mine. Give it to God. Loose yourself. That ain't mine. That's yours, Lord. Amen. And so what David was doing in the wilderness, doing his uh, time of discomfort and danger, amen, instead of looking, uh, you know, complaining, he began to reaffirm his faith and love for God. Amen. When David was discouraged, he was excited about God. In a place where there was no sanctuary, there was no priestly ministry, David reached out by faith and received strength from the Lord. Amen. Now notice the progressiveness and, you know, what, 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 what God is saying through his servant, David. Amen. And I grabbed this song because this is 25 years of celebration. Amen. And we do want to praise the Lord. And really, I, 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 I thought this psalm was so uh, relevant for us because really it's easy to praise God when things are going well. Come on. When things are not going well, what do we do? Praise him anyhow. You st we still should. Praise him anyhow. Amen. And, and David encouraged my spirit. Amen. As I began to listen to what he was saying here and as he began to uh, uh, talk about his love for the Lord. Amen. Notice what he says. He says, my God. Amen. My God. And then he talks about early. Early will I do what? Seek thee. Amen. Isn't that a good word? David said he would seek him early. And when we talk about praise, amen, what we're talking about when we say praise, man, we're talking about to, 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 to adore, to commend, to glorify, amen. Lord, I love you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I, I, in all the earth, there is no God like ours who work for them that what? Wait on him. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? Even in the time of trouble, he will do what? He will hide me. Amen? He will hide me. So really we're talking about to adore. Amen? Amen. I remember when I had a car that I adore. I adored that car so much that I rubbed all the color off of it. Trying to clean it up. Uh-huh. Yeah, to adore. And so we find that praise releases blessings and satisfaction. And we find David here as he began to share this praise. It says, oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. It says, my soul thirsted for thee and my flesh longed for thee. And then he said, in a dry land. So David was, was, was in a place of wilderness, in a place of danger. But his deepest desire wasn't for physical stuff. Amen? He wanted God. Why would David want God when he was thirsty? When he was in danger? Why? Because God is Jehovah Jireh. Amen? When you got God, you got everything. You got water. You got health. 
You got strength. Amen. You got, uh, you got, uh, you, you got everything that you need. Amen. It really is. So David said, he, he didn't, he, 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 yeah, it, it was hungry. He was thirsty. He, those are real feelings that God gives us. God says, seek ye first, what? The kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these what? Things, things. Don't worry about what you're going to eat, the clothes you're going to wear. We, 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 we get caught up in that stuff. Amen. I have come to the point in my life that all I want is Jesus. Lord, I want more of you. I hunger for you. I thirst for you. Like David said, as a deer panted for the living water, so do my soul. Amen. The real being in him. Amen. God was transforming David in the wilderness experience, taking the wilderness experience and making it a worship experience. When you and I focus on God, God deliver us. Amen. It's a yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Amen. I will fear no evil. Why? When God is present with you, everything else don't matter. God can change it. God can change it. So he was telling, you know, David was saying there. And really what I love when I come down, verse number two, it says, to see thy power and thy glory as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. In other words, David is talking about he has experienced God before. Amen. Amen. I, I don't know about you. I have experienced, we're experiencing God right now. His healing, his deliverance. Amen. How many of you know that we're in COVID? Huh? How many of you are still here? Come on, give me a wave offering. Amen. How many of you know that you're only still here but only because of the grace of God? Come on. Oh, God can tell. Ain't no hands going up now. Come on. It's God. Not you. Amen. And then he says, to see thy glory if I've seen it in the sanctuary. And I think that's so important. Amen. Because David, notice what I said. He, he was out. He didn't have the sanctuary, didn't have a tabernacle, didn't have a priest. So what David was doing, he was creating a place of worship right there in his heart. Amen. A one-on-one -on -one thing. Isn't that good? A one-on-one -on -one thing. Why? Because he began to focus he began to look unto the what? The hills from where his help coming from. Realizing his help coming from the Lord that did what? Created the heavens and the earth and all there they're in. Yeah, yeah. And now you tell me that he can't give you some food. He, Satan tempted Jesus and if thou art the Christ, turn these stones into bread. Jesus said, man should not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of the Lord. Amen. And so I love this, what he was saying here. It says my lip and say, and then I, then, then I got stuck on verse number three. It says, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips should praise thee. Amen. You see praise in verse number three. You see praise also in verse number five. Amen where David began to talk about it. He said, because the loving kindness, amen. I said, boy, that is such a good and such a, a wonderful word when he began to talk about God's loving kindness, amen, and really talking about God's compassion toward him and God's love toward him, amen. And the Bible tells us in the scripture that, you know, it's because of the God's mercies, that we are not consumed. Amen. That we are not consumed. Now when we talk about loving kindness. What are we saying? Amen. And, 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 and let me say when you study the Bible. Allow the Bible. To define the Bible. Can I say that as a pastor? Amen. Because every man. Everybody got an opinion. Everybody has an idea of what they think, amen? But allow scripture. God knows what he's saying. Run the scriptures in the Bible. Say, Lord, I don't understand this. Lord, give me, give, give me not, give, help me to understand this. The Bible said, if, man, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask it of God, amen? And so he said, thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. And so I begin to look at that, and it took me to Ephesians 4.32. Write that down. It says, and be kind one to another, tenderhearted, 
forgiving one another. Amen. Isn't that a good word? Isn't that a good word? When we see God's loving kindness, God is being tenderhearted. Amen. Toward us. Amen. He is forgiving us. Amen. He is having compassion on us. Amen. I'm, 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 I'm going to make it more plain here in just in a minute. Amen. Then the next thing is, you know, lo uh, loving kindness is Lamentation 3, 22 and 23. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. And it says, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Because his compassion fell at not. I like that boy. His, his compassion fell a lot. Fell at not. His mercies, they are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Amen. And I and notice what we say to my being tenderhearted, being compassionate. Amen. Standing up. Because really, you know, today, uh, amen, you and I are gonna share some loving kindness. Amen. Because God has been kind and loving to us and compassionate toward us, we need to be compassionate, loving, and kind toward others. Amen. Because in a few minutes, we're going to go outside. Amen. And tell somebody, say, uh, touch yourself. So I'm going to find the real you. Find the real you. Amen. And that's important. God loves us enough. Amen. That calls us into his kingdom. Amen. That we could be those lively living stones that he called out of darkness into his marvelous light that we can show him. Amen. You know, uh, as Christians, we talk a lot about God and about his love for people. Amen. You know what we need to do? We need to let people see God with some flesh on, with some skin. And you know what that skin is? That skin is you and me. How God acts in the skin. How God treat me in, in the flesh, in skin. We need to see, we, uh, uh, touch us somebody. Some folks today want to see Jesus with some what? Skin on him. Skin on him. And we are his ambassadors. Isn't that good? And I said, Lord, 25 years, you have been kind. You have been generous to us. Amen. And you know what? As, as I was studying, the, you know, there's a spiritual significance of 25. Amen. Not just something that happened. Amen. 25. Amen. It's a multiple of five, the number five. Amen. And the number five talks about grace. Mm -hmm. You know what grace means? Grace means we got God favored. Come on, wave your hand. This is a year of God's grace and favor for Fresh Start Church. Amen. We're gonna, he's going to exceed our expectation. Amen. Not because of our righteousness. Amen. Grace is what? A gift of God. Not of works. Lest any man should boast. What do you do with gifts? Christmas is coming. You receive them. Amen. And so I was, I was excited about that. And I said, God, you are good. Amen. And so really we ought to praise God for his loving kindness. My loving kindness is better than life to me. We ought to praise God for his tender mercies. Thy mercies are new day by day. We ought to praise God for his faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. We ought to praise God for his unfailing love. Amen. Isn't that a good word? But hold it, before I leave, I want to give you something to take home with you. Amen. Isn't it good? Isn't it? You know, I, 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 the teacher, I said, oh, I couldn't wait for the bell, the bell to ring when I was in school so I could get out and run. I like to be out in the street, and I like to be free. But she said, homework. When she said, homework, uh, that's why I said, homework. I do like. Pastor, Pastor said, homework, y'all. Some of y'all. Amen. We got to allow God's word to dwell in us because what's in us comes out of us. The Bible says, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If, if you got evilness in your heart, when you open your mouth, it's going to be evil. If you're angry in your heart, when you open your mouth, it's going to be angry. Amen. Even on the internet, when you send the little texts, you should make sure that your spirit is right. Because you know those little texts also have a spirit. Make sure everything that you do is right. Amen. Get it right. So let me say, because praise does relieve blessing and satisfaction. 
Amen. Look at one. Verse number one. And this is the fruit. Notice it said, my lips shall praise thee. Yeah, my soul shall praise thee with joyful lips. Isn't that a good word? Amen. And what are the fruits of praising God? Benefits. Amen. Benefits. Amen. Benefits. I'm not talking about, hey, retirement plan. Yeah, like, like, like you were. Uh, do I get dental benefits? Do I get medical benefits? What else? Do I get sick days? Touch somebody and say, there's some benefits in serving God. Come on, touch yourself. There are some benefits. Benefits. Amen. Now, <laughs> notice what it says. Verse number one, it says, oh, Lord, thou art my God. David talks about his, he, he affirms his relationship with God. Amen. And I'm going to stop there. Where is your relationship with God? Do you know him as your Lord and Savior? Huh? Huh? You don't have to try to get it right. God said that we can come to him just the way we are. That's what I did. I was broken. I was suicidal. I didn't want to live. And God lifted me out. Amen. Notice he said, personal, my God. Then verse number two, he talks about clear priorities. Where does God fit in your life? Amen. Notice what it says. It says, early will I seek thee. Come on, that means at the beginning of the day. Amen. You know what I like? It's, the Bible says the beginning of a thing has a, is, is better than what? It uh, starts off how a thing's end. Amen. The way we start our day has a bearing on how it ends. That's why we, come on, let me turn around here. Let me jump on my, we're going to praise God today. Because why? He is good. Why? His mercies. And do it forever, from everlasting to what? Everlasting. Amen. Then he comes on and say, he said, my soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee. He's talking about not, not just a shallow thing. This is something deep down within. Amen. From the same depths of our deliverance should come the same depth of our praise. He who has been delivered from much should praise him much. Amen. Intensity. Amen. Hold it, hold it. It's good, it's good. I know it's good in my soul too. It's good. Amen. But he just stopped there. He went on to say, he said, now he was talking about, he said, to see thy power and glory as I have seen thee in the, the sanctuary. He's talking about corporate involvement. Amen. Touch yourself and say, worship is still important. Amen. We need to come together. I know you can see me on the internet. On the internet, as soon as this stuff is over, y'all need to come back to the church. Come on. Uh -uh. You need to be in. Uh, let me let me stop and let me just be passionate. Let me minute. You need to have a church home for yourself. You need to have a church family for yourself. Doesn't mean that you're gonna find everything right in the church. No. Uh uh. Why? Because God is still making and forming us. The only perfect person was Jesus Christ. I don't know anybody else living that's perfect. And what do we know? By imperfect people make mistakes. We're still learning. Let me continue on. I love the scripture. Come on, touch somebody. Come on, touch this. Let's give God some glory. Come on. Lord, I love you. I adore you. I magnify you. God, you are wonderful. You love me enough to pour into me. That you can live out of me. I said, God, you are awesome. And then he talks about appropriate gratitude. Amen. Gratitude. Appropriate gratitude. Amen. Like saying, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry when I jump in front of you. Could, could I, can I help you with the groceries? Speaking a word of encouragement to somebody that's down. Amen. Appropriate gratitude, because thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. And I like what he said, joyful lips. Amen. And that is important for us. Amen. Because God said we're going to have to give an account for every word that you and I say. Mm -hmm. Joyful. And then the last thing he talks about, he talks about, uh, he talks about affirmation. In the relationship, he talks about clear priorities. He talks about deep intensity. 
And then he talks about a desire for corporate involvement. And then he talks about appropriate gratitude. And then the results. Verse number five. It says, my soul shall be satisfied with moral and fatness. Personal needs met. Isn't that good? Come on. With you. That's, why, that's why I said look, 25 years. Not that we are a church that are perfect, that we've done everything right, but we know how to stick and hold on to the horns of the altar of God and say, Lord, just like Jacob, I'm not going to turn you loose until you bless me. Amen. So really, we are here. Lord, I love you. Lord, I adore you. You are wonderful. You are better than life to me. Our God, he's the lifter of our head. He's the buckler of our soul. He's a good shepherd. He's our bright and morning star. He's Alpha Omega, the beginning and the ending of all things. Amen. He's the light of the world. In him is no darkness. It's good to be able to push back darkness, push back Satan. Devil, you have no power. You have no authority here. I plead the blood of Jesus. You can't even come through the door. The blood of Jesus. Amen. It is 25 years of God's amazing grace. Amazing grace. And we are here because of that. Amen. And you know what? We're going to tear up Lenexa in Johnson County. Just a little bitty old church down here on the corner because of God. Amen. All right. Why don't you stand to your feet with me? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we realize that it's because of you that we live and move and have our being. God, you are our sufficiency. You are our justification. You are our sanctification. That means being set apart, being made right, that, God, you give us peace with you. It's all because of you, God. God, you look beyond every one of our faults to meet all of our needs. And God, we don't take life for granted. We don't take you for granted. As David said, because of your loving kindness, my lips shall praise you. Oh God, you are wonderful. Prince of peace, mighty God, everlasting Father. And God, as we celebrate 25 years of ministry, God, we give you glory and we give you honor. We give you praise. God, even when times got difficult, God, we are people that believe you because we walk by faith and not by sight. Because we study your word, we realize that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And God, we stood still even when people said, no, you can't do that. No, this won't happen. God, we stood still and we believe you. God, we believe you because we believe in standing on your promises. We are here now. We are here now. We are now your people. We are now, God, your ones that you have called. We are standing here now. We thank you for the now, God. It's not us. It's you now moving in us and working in us to will and to do of your good pleasure. And God, we haven't arrived. So God, continue to mold and make us. You said, unless the Lord builds a house, they that build it labor in vain. Oh God, continue to mold us and make us, purge us from within, without. As David said, creating us a clean heart, renew the right spirit in us that we may teach others your way. Oh God, we know that you are our righteousness and you are our joy and you are our peace because you are Lord all by yourself. So God, we're thankful for everyone that's under the sound of my voice. And God, we just pray that you just continue to draw us closer to yourself. God, reveal more of your love and more of your way and more of your will in our lives, God. 
God, there's a lot of things that distract us. And God will keep us in the wilderness for 40 years, which will only be a three days journey. Lord, I'm tired of wondering. Lord, you are a God that has a sure thing. And God, I want to believe you for the rest of my life. Whether you're hurting, discouraged, don't have enough. God has extended his arms toward you and said, come. I love you. I want to help you. Allow me to help you navigate this road down here on earth. Because I didn't come to condemn the world. But I came that the world through me might have life and have it overflowing with joy, peace, gentleness. And you said that those that call upon the name of the Lord, that you would save and deliver. So if that's you and you don't know Jesus Christ and you haven't accepted him, we're going to pause for a moment. It's so simple, but it seems to be so profound that all you got to do is ask and confess. We ask that you would pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I need you. Lord Jesus, I want you. Forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. Teach me your will and your way. And I thank you for bringing me into the kingdom of your dear son. And for those who are struggling and having difficulty, God told me to tell you, he says, when we are weak, he promised to be strong. So if you're feeling weak today, God said that you could cast all your cares Put them all on him about your children, about your finances, about your job. Oh, about the way you feel, about your health. Put it all, cast them all on him. Why? Because he's a God that cares about where you are and what you are experiencing. And God promised to deliver us from all manner of sicknesses and diseases that we can have the abundant life that he came to give to all creation. So if that's you, we just ask that you just can say, Lord, I give you this, whatever it may be, give it to him. Allow Jesus to meet your needs according to his riches and glory. Tell him how you feel. Tell him what you want. He loves you. Greater love had no man than this to lay down his life for a friend. So Lord, we praise you. We give you glory. We give you honor. As for your blessing on everyone that's under the sound of our voice, God, continue to allow your light to shine through us before men that they may see our good work that we can give glory to you which is in heaven. God, praise means to adore, to glory. God, as we interact with one another today, celebrating 25 years of your marvelous work, because we are God's people caring for people. God, continue to meet every need according to your riches and glory. You are our sufficiency. And God, we put all our hope and confidence in you, the God that can do immeasurably more than we can even ask or think. Praise be to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Put your hand together and say glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I'll just take a moment to say thank you to uh, all of our members and friends uh, thank you for making this day possible and all the festivities that are out there. Amen. We appreciate and we uh, love your labor of love and effort. want to say thank you to Gwen, Sister Gwen Willingham. Amen. Carol Hodges. Arena Swinton. 
Who else? Who else? Who else am I missing? I want to say thank you to the men for Christmas in October. Uh, Brother uh, Buell Saunders and all those that work with him. Amen. Come on. We want to say thank you. Amen. And what we're going to do, we're just going to ask God's blessing over the remainder of this day. So we don't need to bless the food. We don't need to do any, you know, we, we can just communicate and share God's love one with another. Amen. All right. Heavenly Father, we come and we are grateful and thankful for 25 years of your amazing grace, God. And yes, God, that's what it be. It's all because of you that we are here. And God, we give you glory. Father, we ask that you will bless the food we're going to receive. God, bless everything. Even with our children out there playing and running, God, we just pray for your spirit and your uh, spirit of safety and love to abound this day. And God, may we share a word to encourage someone else because you have encouraged us. We love you, adore you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. All right, God bless you. Thank you. Appreciate your coming.